So let's talk about how to split uh, the geometry apart uh, in a scene so that you can change things around a little bit without having to get too specific with the 3D artists. So this uh, image was sent uh, and received back as a 3D file. Just take a quick look there. And what we want to do with this is um, the mountains are good as is, but we want to make the snow border larger and make the snow border appear closer to the front of the crystal. So it almost gives the impression that he's kind of flying out uh, at the person that's looking at the crystal. So the issue with this is, is that if we size the snow, snow border to be larger, it's sizing the mountains as well to be larger. So um, we're not able to keep uh, everything that we want. If uh, we move the snow border to the front, just click on move here, it's moving the mountains as well. So how do we split this in order to kind of do what we want to do? Um, this, this is a, an interesting exercise and it'll help in many situations where you're sending a project for uh, a family of five or six people and you get the file back and you need to change one of the people and move them forward or back or change the size of them or move them around a little bit. So uh, this is pretty much going to show you the principles of how to do that. All right, so what we're going to do is first we're going to choose, we're going to focus on one area of the photo. So that area we're going to choose to focus on first is the mountains. Make sure that we're happy with the way the mountains are. Are they the right size and are they uh, positioned correctly? And if they are, we're going to click on go and we're going to delete everything else from the, uh, from the file. Um, and actually I should also remove the uh, inscription before I generate my point cloud. So let me just make that invisible. We can add it later. So we'll just click on go again. And we know the mountains are perfect. It's everything else that we don't want. So we're going to get rid of the snow border. Let's do a cleaner job of that. All right. So this here is perfect. This is what we want. We're going to add this as a point cloud layer. Okay, so it's going to add it over here. And now we're going to go back to our scene and we're going to select the correct layer. So let's select this, the color scene again. And we're going to increase the size to make the snow border the size that we want him to be. So let's assume that that's the size that we wanted him to be. Okay. Now if I click on go, what it's going to do is it's going to mix up this large mountain with a small point cloud mountain in the background. So let's not do that. Let's make the one that we like, the point cloud in the back, let's make it invisible. And now let's click on go. And now what we're going to do is the exact opposite. We're going to delete the mountains. We're going to get rid of what we don't want and we're going to create a layer of a point cloud for the snow border. All right, so now the snow border is perfect. Um, well, almost perfect. I actually don't like perfect lines or curves. Let's just kind of make it look a little more natural by making it a little bumpy. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add this as a point cloud layer. So all we're going to do now is position these two layers exactly where we want, and we're going to make our scene, the color file, invisible. We'll make that invisible. We'll make both point clouds visible. We'll add our text back. Make sure that, I mean, while you move things around, like let's say the snow border, we want to move him around. So let's say, for example, we want to move him down a little bit. And let's say we want to move him to the front a little bit. We can do that, but just make sure that you don't uh, increase the scale. Because if you do that, what's going to happen is if you increase the scale here, you're going to screw up your point space settings and then the image will look very faint or uh, it might crack it. So don't do that. Um, just take it back to natural here. 
And what you're going to do is you're going to click on go one more time now that we've positioned the snowboarder um, closer to the front and a bit lower. Click on go. And this here is our final file that we're going to see. And now it's ready to save. So that's how you split geometry uh, creatively uh, in the point cloud scene.